Jersey City Medical Center has been supporting Hudson County in healing and enhancing, and we've been investing in Hudson County, and we have been very proud partners to do so. It is so important to have a program such as a STEM program in Hudson County, in the country. Our young minds are so eager to learn about STEM, and it's so important for them to be offered an opportunity like this, in which Jersey City Medical Center supports. Jersey City Medical Center has been on a long journey of enhancing life, we work with the community. We do an assessment of community to see what the community needs. And we have been partnering for a long time with a community so we can be healthy together. Jersey City Medical Center is a leader in innovation and research. And we're so proud to be sponsoring the STEM program. These are all children who are deep thinkers, that they're organized, um, they're proactive, they think outside the box, they're creative. The creativity comes with this age group. It comes with young people. It comes with thinking about why, why can't we do these, some of these things? And they've, and they've done a really great job. A again, I'm totally impressed with it. I very much appreciate that the hospital has taken this opportunity to be part of this and to share it and, and to share their time with uh, the students here. You'll see many of the experiments and projects they do are using high-tech equipment that comes from a place like the Jersey City Medical Center. From a congratulatory point, um, the kids are, you're, they're wonderful. They're hardworking and uh, they're motivated and they're gonna go places. From a personal standpoint, you make my generation really encouraged that I know great things will be coming. I created a prototype app called MetSport to improve the communication between athletic trainers and student athletes in high school. When I played volleyball, I uh, sprained my ankle during a game and my athletic trainer helped me, but I wasn't able to uh, communicate with him afterwards. So it slowed down my recovery process. And so I thought that if, if I had an app like MedSport, it would have uh, made my recovery a process like faster. There wasn't a lot of past studies to go off of. So I just um, had to like start from scratch making this app. It was a little bit stressful, but with the help of my teacher and providing me the program to make the app and studying to present this research, I feel like uh, it was a really great experience. ICEF is one of the best things that, that uh, the United States has uh, in terms of education. It's an excellent way of getting students interested, inspired. This program helps the students to acquire not only academic skills, but what we call the soft skills. They learn how to manage, they learn how to speak, they learn how to become leaders, and uh, we should encourage that. It is not only STEM, it is really teaching the student how to be a citizen of the world. I believe in diversity and I believe that inclusion make, make the program very, very successful because the more people you introduce to this program, the richer the program will be. My district is mainly Hispanic and we know that uh, only 4% of Hispanic are in the STEM fields. So um, we're very, very happy that we started the STEM Academy in Union City. Hudson County has been in the forefront uh, in, in pushing for diversity. Um, many of uh, my former students are now leaders. Students at a young age are like sponges. So if you offer them something, they're gonna take it, they're gonna be inspired, they will continue with it. Even though we are a small district, we are a small community, but our students have left their imprint on the world. I've been judging and super judging for quite some time, over 25 years, and have enjoyed uh, the many years in the progress of the program. I've uh, been able to work with uh, the students prior to this judging in a mentoring program 
And it's pretty exciting and very rewarding to see how our young adults are coming through with the program and also with the projects that they're involved with. What I've seen is a remarkable increase in not only the interest of the program, but also the way that the students have progressed in the different topics. First, it's the research and identifying what a project would be. Many of the students take a look at those projects and they think to themselves how it impacts them as they're growing. And what they do is they see themselves trying to tackle these problems that have been identified. And what they've done is they've put a personal touch to it. They've made it their own. And they've included those things as projects that they would like to tackle and see if they can find a solution for. And, and that's what makes it very exciting. The beauty of Hudson County is, is that we all come together to help each other out. We love collaboration here. We have some brilliant students, some amazing ideas, and just getting the students to, you know, highlight what they love and find their passion to then translate it into a career is what it's all about. Everyone comes from such a diverse background, and the beauty of it is, is that within Hudson County, we're not in a bubble. We have cultures coming from all around the world into this small little area. There's just so much that can be learned and taught as well as collaboration. It's the human uh, ability to adapt, grow, and use their brains, in a sense, to figure out ways of making the world a better place. We don't realize that we're using science, technology, engineering, and math in everyday objects. Um, it's just sometimes it really takes taking a STEM course to point that out. A lot of students are actually making products, and I love that because a lot of it is technology. Technology, mathematics combined with the science, and then you don't realize that's the research. So going forward, we have to just focus more on really taking things that we do have and improving them or just starting from scratch and making some other type of product that is really going to change the world. This is amazing. It's an honor to be here and I'm so glad this is in its 65th year. Uh, I just hope that it continues and gets better and better every year. I wanted to revolutionize navigation, uh, navigation systems. So I decided to use microcontrollers to make a robotic service dog that can essentially guide visually impaired people and make their lives slightly more easier. I noticed that service dogs, they actually cost $17,000. And I thought that's like, that's a way too much of an amount to have a um, service dog. So I thought, why don't I make a cheaper and much more efficient way of guiding and assisting the visually impaired? I think STEM education is really important because that's the reason why I was able to complete this project. And it really made me curious for what else the world has to offer in computer science. And it actually just brought that inspiration on, on me. We're in a world full of people that are driven and that have already encountered the same problems as me. So I feel like as a community, we can come together and just tackle these challenges. My project was about using zebrafish as a model organism to evaluate the effects of obesity, as well as testing things on their offspring and seeing the connection that it can have for humans. I learned that you have to be really confident in what you believe in and what you're saying, and that you have to be extremely passionate about the area of study that you're studying in so you can give a really good presentation. It's been a great experience. I've been participating in science fairs since I was in the fourth grade, and just the overall environment of putting together the project, getting help from my peers, helping my peers with their own projects has been unbelievable. And the amount of things that I've learned, not only in research, but in public speaking overall has been really beneficial to me in all areas of my life.
Thank you to the Jersey City Medical Center for sponsoring this showcase and giving me this opportunity and for putting this amazing event together. I really appreciate everything that you've done in these past 65 years. And congratulations to all the students in there. I mean, it's just a fantastic job. I am in such joy sitting listening to their studies. I want to thank all of the students that participate in the program from the Hudson County area and the uh, participation by Jersey City Medical Center being an active participant and, and role model for these students. I thank the leaders uh, at the Jersey City uh, Medical Center uh, for uh, sponsoring this program and for their vision to see the value of such a program in this community. This community is very lucky and fortunate to have dedicated people who are committed to offer the young people the best of the best.